our third contestant, Mr. Martin Mansell. How are you? Looking forward to this. Looking forward to being the fourth contestant. Yeah, fourth even, yeah. I forgot about Kyle. How do you reckon you'll get on? Any predictions? As long as I'm first at the end of it, I don't know. <laughs> so your first question, £100. You can use a lifeline if you need to. A person putting a lot of physical effort into a task is said to be using what? Is it A, knuckle oil, B, elbow grease, C, knee cream, or D, hip lard? I like the thought of hip lard. <laughs> I'll say elbow grease finance. You've got a hundred pounds. Your second question then, Martin. Complete the proverb. Don't put all your eggs in one. A. China cup. B. Basket. C. Bottom drawer. D. Silver box. I was waiting for frying pan to be one of those. But <laughs> I'll say basket finance. Say basket. You have two hundred pounds. £300. Which of these is a poetic name for Ireland? Is it A. Diamond Country? B. Ruby Region? C. Emerald Isle? D. Pearl District? Emerald Isle, final answer. Kind of easy so far. You have £300. For 500 which Soho Street was a centre of London fashion in the 1960s? A. Street, final answer. A. D. Street? B. Warder Street? C. Berwick Street or D. Carnaby Street? Carnaby Street, <laughs> you would already answered it. You have £500. £1,000 is the last point you can go away with zero. You wait. Get this one and you'll be equal with Nige. Where would you be most likely to keep a pet cockatiel? A. A hutch. B. A kennel. C. An aquarium. D. A cage. What's that cage? Why the level? That is correct. Cockatiel, of course, a type of pigeon, Nige. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna live that down, am I? No. No. Would you like to set your net at 2,000? No, no. Confident. What is the name for a painting depicting objects such as fruit and flowers? Is it A, cold life? B, still life? C, flat life? Or D, dry life? So it's still life, why not let's going so far and you're up to 2,000. Would you like to say you're at 4,000, Martin? Oh, thank you. Kathy Gale, Emma Peel and Tara King assisted John Steed in which TV series? Is A, The Prisoner, B, The Doctors, C, The Brothers, D, The Avengers? I say The Avengers, final answer. said D, The Avengers. You're correct, you're at 4,000. Well, would you like to set your net at 8,000? No, thank you, Jeremy. For eight, for eight, no, no problem. Which type of alternative medicine is sometimes known as acupressure? Is it A, aromatherapy, B, shiatsu, C, home, homeopathy, or D, crystal therapy? No, I think I know it, but it's... You just play cocky and just go for it and look like an idiot if you get it wrong. Or well, do you use a lifeline to make sure? Yeah. 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Uh, uh, Your remaining answers are aromatherapy and shiatsu. Go shiatsu, final answer. Say shiatsu, final answer. Use your 50-50 there. First lifeline. The answer is Shiatsu for 8,000. Absolutely flying through here. I thought it was something oriental, but I wasn't, yeah. Would you like to set your net at 16,000? No, thank you. Oh! <laughs> Which of these cabinet posts was not held by John Major? A. Home Secretary B. Foreign Secretary C. Chancellor of the Exchequer D. Prime Minister No, oh, it was... Definitely Prime Minister. I could pick Foreign Secretary, I think. Because this is all sort of he's always the obscure Prime Minister that I go for for like mm. I can't picture him with the red briefcase. To be the Chancellor. So you've got your ask the audience, ask the host, or ask a friend. Just can't 
can't remember him being. I saw a picture of him. You always think of that image, don't you, with the red cape? I'll ask the audience, just to try and be sure. So your audience answers 15% say Home Secretary, 31% Foreign Secretary, 46% Chancellor of the Exchequer, 8% Prime Minister. Yeah, that's what I thought anyway. Yeah, I'll go Chancellor of the Exchequer, why not? Use the second largest line. You can still go away with just 1,000 here. You've gone C, Chancellor of the Exchequer. The answer is A, Home Secretary. Oh! Hey. To gun you over. Yay! <laughs> oh, and Aaron Norwich. It's a really good company, mate. Oh, no. Come on, Garland, we got it. <laughs>